Okay, so I decided to shoot a little video to kind of explain what I do with the layers a little bit better. Um, I'm not too good at typing things out. But what I do is I've got both pictures opened up that I, and you know, this is not a texture, it's just a picture that I found. So I'm going to go over here to my move tool. I'm going to drag this picture on top of my other picture. I'm going to maximize that so I can see. And then I go up here to edit and go down to free transform. And obviously my image is too big. So we're going to bring it down to size so that it matches up with the picture that I have. And then I just double click it and it transforms it. And it's not too distorted. I like it that way. And then, so see, you know, you can't see the bottom layer. So I go over here to my layers, and I choose Overlay. I kind of like how that came up, but, you know, you can't really see my face. And it, you know, doesn't show a whole lot over here. So I might go and I might choose um, to not do that. So I'll just Control z and undo that. Another thing you can do is you can just go over to your layers and create a layer mask. And I choose Reveal All and choose a paintbrush and adjust the size accordingly. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And then you go through and while it's highlighted on black, white will, you know, I'll show you. You know, if you have it on white, you're obviously going to bring back the top layer. So if you have it on black, you can show what's underneath. So I'm going to have it as a background instead of a texture. Because this one just didn't work quite like I wanted it to. So what I'm going to go through, and I'm going to go, and it doesn't have to be perfect this first time around, but I'm going to uncover all that I want to be seen in the picture. So, and like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be going back with a smaller brush um, zoomed in to fine tune the edges a little bit. Okay, so we did that. Now we're going to make it a little bit smaller. And zoom in just a little bit. And then we're going to turn it back to white. Um, I like to change the opacity down a little bit so it's not too harsh on the other layer. You know, it just saves time with having to go back and bring out the other layer a little bit more. So it saves in a, a step, really. But just go through to all the places that you want, you know, covered up. So, but don't worry if you did cover up something, like I covered up my arm a little bit over here. If you cover up something, just switch it back to black over here, and you can bring that back out, just like that. And there's my arm. Okay, so now that's really, you can leave it at that, or you can, you know, flatten your image, and really just do anything to it. You know, use your actions or whatever, but pretty much we've created a whole new background for this picture. And you can do, like I said, you can do it as a texture, but this background just really didn't work out as a texture for this one. Um, maybe if the background over here had been in white, uh, you would have been able to see this better. But you would do the same thing if you wanted to use it as a texture with the overlay. You would just, you know, put it back on there and overlay and use your brush the same way we did just now. Well, I hope I was good at explaining this and I hope it helped somebody that, you know, might be a little bit curious about layers but, you know, didn't really know how to do them. Have a great day.